noises over there. Baby girl is kind of sleeping, kind of not. She's very talkative today. But yeah, so if you, if you hear noises, that's what that is. But today I am doing a collaboration with Jessie Reed. Her video and channel will be linked down below, so make sure you go check that out after you're done with this video. But we are doing what's in my diaper bag. And everything you see in this video will also be linked in the description with an Amazon link. I love Amazon. Anytime I'm shopping anywhere and I see something that I want, I'm like, mm, I should just buy it on Amazon. It's cheaper, it's fast, and uh, you could always find exactly what you're looking for. Anyway, so all the Amazon links for everything will be down below. So I have the Itsy Ritzy, I think it's called Coffee and Cream, and it's like the largest bag they make. Um, this was a gift at my baby shower. I am in love with this bag. It was so great having a backpack instead of a strap bag. I'm not really much of a bag person, but with a baby, you obviously have to carry around a ton of stuff anytime you go anywhere. So obviously I need a bag. I just hate bags, so that's great that you don't really have to carry it, put the weight on your shoulder. All right, so I guess I'll start with the outwards pockets and then we'll go inside. So this top little pocket here is so cute. I didn't even notice it at first. And it just unzips like this. And this is great for sunglasses because it's like felt material in here. So yeah, I always have a pair of glasses in here and just a pair of headphones. This big pocket is really great for like papers or anything. When I was in the hospital, they gave me like so much paperwork. It was great to just stick it in there and forget about it and know where it is. This right here is from medical records. When I left the hospital, they gave me this envelope in case there was ever an emergency. I had to go to the ER or anything like that. All her information about her being a preemie and when she was born and everything is all in here. So um, I always keep that on me in case there's ever an emergency. And then there's these two little pockets. Anything that I need to grab really quickly, I always keep in here so I don't have to dig in this part for it. In this bigger pocket, I have my wallet. I also just keep a pad in here in case of emergencies, you know? And in this other little pocket, I keep a little thing of hand sanitizer. So if I'm ever out in public and anyone wants to touch her or hold her or anything, they can sanitize themselves first because I don't want her getting any cooties. And I have this mini deodorant. I just always forget to put on deodorant, so. Whenever I'm out and I'm like, oh man, I forgot deodorant. I just put this on real quick. All right, next is this side pocket right here. Um, I always have a bottle in here. Anytime I go out, even if it's just for an hour and I know she's not gonna eat for a while, I just get a bottle ready anyway so I get it warm and I put it in here. It's like cooler material on the inside. So yeah, just in case um, I get held up and I'm take longer than I think I'm actually gonna take. It's always good to just have a bottle in here in case she starts screaming her head off and she's hungry. If I know I'm ever gonna be gone for longer than three hours, I will bring an extra thing of milk to just refill this bottle with. This pocket is also ventilated and it's great to put those little capsules or breast milk or anything like that just in here and it'll keep it nice and warm. So in the back, there's this kind of little hidden compartment over here. And in here is a changing pad. This came with the diaper bag. It says head and toes. It's adorable. Anytime I need to change her in public, I use this for sure. This bag also came with a little tassel right here. I'm just not a tassel person, so I took it off. But yes, this bag does include a cute little tassel. All right, let's get into the inside. So as you see, this is jam packed with stuff. Um, there's so much in here. I was surprised with how much I could actually fit in here. When I first got this, I'm like, no way I'm gonna be able to fill this entire bag, but it's full. So the first thing is her car seat covers and she has two car seat covers, one for colder weather and one for warmer weather. And I mean, it's kind of in between seasons right now here in spring, so I always have both. Um, one's always on the car seat, so there's never both in here, but for the sake of this video, I just put them both in here. If I'm ever out and about and I have the summer one on and it gets pretty chilly, I'll put the warmer one on and vice versa. So here's the one for warmer weather. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It just looks like this and it just 
slides over the entire bag and it has a little hole at the top so you can peek in there and grab the handle. It's also very thin so it'll let the breeze in but also keep the sun out of her eyes. And this is the warmer one and it's called Cozy Cover. It's kind of like a shower cap. Kind of just put the whole thing over the top of the car seat and it opens up a little hole for their face and it also unzips so you could just leave it on all the time and just take them in and out of it. As you see, it's this really nice fleece material. It's very insulated and it keeps them super warm. Since it's about to be summer here in Florida, I will probably retire this one until probably the fall because once it's summer in Florida, it's just hot. The next thing I have is my boba wrap and um, I love this thing. I use this thing almost every day. It is so great, she loves it. If I ever need to go for like a walk, instead of putting her in a stroller, I'll put her in here. If you wanna see a tutorial of how I wear this thing and how to put it on and everything. So when I first got it, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna wear it that much. It seems really confusing and a struggle to put on. I'd probably just wear the ones that you buckle, but honestly, it's not that hard and it's just a matter of learning how to do it so if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to wear this leave a comment down below okay so this is what the inside of the bag looks like you have all these pockets and the main part is this little mesh thing that holds this stuff in so when you open the bag everything just doesn't fall out and then there's these two little cubbies over here so just right here in the middle i have this extra swaddle blanket and this isn't just a swaddle blanket. There's so many uses for this. So it's always good to just have one in your diaper bag. The next thing I have is a change of clothes. Obviously, as you know, babies have blowouts all the time. So I have a new outfit in here in case she gets poop all over herself or pee. Or if she throws up all over her outfit. So yeah, just to change of clothes, she can change it to real quick. And I don't recommend putting your favorite outfit in here because it's probably not gonna see the light of day for quite a bit unless your baby has blowouts all the time, but yeah. And the next thing I have you don't really think about when packing a diaper bag, but it's also an extra shirt for me. Um, a few times she's been out in public with me and I burp her and she throws up all over my shirt. I just always manage to get my shirt covered in puke. So I just always have an extra shirt just in case. And the next thing is just a bib. I underestimated how much you need bibs. I was like, she doesn't eat food, she doesn't need a bib, but you definitely need a bib. Anytime she eats, she has a bib under her. Otherwise, she will literally get milk all over her outfit. All right, now let's get into the pockets. This pocket is empty because I just don't have anything I need to put in here. And there's this little hook thing here. I'm not positive what that's for, but I just thought I'd mention that it's there if you wanna buy this diaper bag. It comes with a little hook. Up here in this little tiny pouch is a pair of socks in case her feet get cold. And on this side, there's two little mesh pockets with a little slit in the middle. So on one side I have just some chopstick and on the other side is a binky. It's great that there's this little mesh pocket for that so it's not getting contaminated with all the other stuff. Okay, on this side, um, this pocket is a little magnetic pocket and it is just full of diapers. Her little tiny preemie diapers are so adorable. In this pocket is this little clutch that has wipes in it. This was a present um, for my baby shower and I think it's so cute. The fact that it's a little clutch and you can put wipes in it. And this is Huggies brand. And it opens right here and you can refill it with wipes. And of course this part opens and you just take a wipe out. It's great having a refillable one in here because you can put as many wipes as you want. So that way you're not having a giant bulky thing of wipes. In this next little pocket right here, I have Passy wipes. Yeah, anything that goes in their mouth, I will use this. Before I feed her with her little bottle, I will just take one of these and just wipe down the part that goes in her mouth and stick it in just in case anything got on it. We don't want her getting any germs. Next thing is these boogie wipes. This is great not only like for the boogies, but like anytime I wipe her face, I don't really want to use a normal wipe just because there's so much stuff in this wipes and this is just saline. 
so yeah these are great next i have this little pocket right here the first thing i have in here is sunscreen and this is baby sunscreen and yeah obviously i have sunscreen in here for obvious reasons the next thing i have is some diaper cream and this brand is great so many people have recommended this to me and honestly it's amazing she's never had a diaper rash and i have this to thank for that the next thing i have is this bulb syringe in case she's super stuffy i will just have this on hand the last thing i have in this little pocket is a wub and up and this is the cutest it's a little tiny unicorn and it also rattles so yeah whenever she's in the stroller i like to put this one on her in case she decides to just spit her passy out if she wants to spit it out it'll just come out and this will just sit on her and the past he won't go flying. Next are these two. In the top one, I have just a ton of these things. And they're just disposable little pads. It's great if I don't have a bib for some reason, I'll use this. There's so many useful things for these disposable little pads. So yeah, I have a ton of those in here. And in this last little zipper pocket, I have a trash bag. They have little bags like this that are marketed for diaper bags. But I thought that was kind of stupid to buy um, expensive little bags to put poopy diapers and stuff like that in. They literally just have a Publix bag. Um, they're free. You can save them. This is for if she has a dirty diaper and there's no trash can around. I can just put it in here. Or if she has a blowout, I'll put her dirty clothes in here so it's not getting the rest of the diaper bag dirty. So it's always great to have a sanitary little bag in here. And then I have two granola bars. Um, I get hungry. That pretty much concludes what's my diaper bag. Don't forget to check out Jessie Reed's video. It will be in the description. Also, if you saw anything in this video you liked, the Amazon links are in the description. I couldn't finish this video without showing you guys how adorable Coco is. Say hi, everybody. Some of you guys know we call it Coco Bean sometime. So when she's in these little burritos, we call her a bean burrito. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat so you don't miss out on videos like this. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on pictures like this. Also, if you want to be notified every time I upload, click the little bell that's next to the subscribe button. And go ahead and leave a video recommendation in the comments of what you want to see next. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed.